All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris, and today I'm back with another video here. The Flyers pick up a 5-2 win in Colorado. Second win on this trip. They've won four straight, 9-4-1 on the road this season. They're 6-3-1 in their last 10 games. 15-10-2, 27 games played, 32 points on the season, and second in the Metropolitan Division. What a game. I mean, where do I start from? I mean, they go with 11-7 and in this one. Um, I'm not even going to go through the lines because they changed literally the entire game. Like it, 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 the moments it was Forrester with Coots, Konechny, then it would be Forrester with Couturier and Atkinson. And then you'd see Farabee with Couturier. And there was at one point it was Farabee, Couturier, Atkinson. Like it just changed like completely. So I'm not really going to go through that because the deep pair of the lines, the whole thing changed throughout the game. Um, it wouldn't be fair for me to say this was the lines when it wasn't. Um, Carter Hart was in net for this one for the Flyers. He was fantastic. You know, Colorado is a team that generates a ton off the rush, like a ton. They have, I mean, so many good players from McCarr, McKinnon, Rantanen. I could go throughout the entire lineup, right? On paper, a much better team than, than 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 the Flyers. But the Flyers, with wins this year against Vegas, against Colorado tonight, they've had some really strong games. I mean, they you know, they beat Carolina as well, right? The teams that are really up there in the NHL. There's been the talk of playoffs and the whole thing. I, I'll address it here. Do I think this team will make the playoffs? Probably not. But because again, do I really think that this team in you know March, April, late February after the All Star break, kind of heading into those last couple of months, can they can they sustain it? Can they keep this? Go can they even keep this going into January? You know what I mean? It, it's it's hard for me to think that way. But with twenty seven games played, they win this game Tuesday. That's two five game winning streaks this season. I mean, when's the last time they've done that? And also, like the the penalty kill being top ten in the league, it was it was six in the NHL last game uh, against uh, Arizona. It was good again tonight. They didn't give up any power play goals. I mean, it, it just so many little good things in this game. Travis Konechny again stands out. Two goals at the penalty shot goal. He scores the first goal of the game. Flyers very good when scoring first. Owen Tippett, he gets on the board. Thankfully, Joel Farabee, they get two goals in 46 seconds in the third period where the Avs had a ton of pressure. So let's get into this one. The first period ended 1-1, pretty back and forth for a little bit, and then the Avs had a ton of pressure. They had a power play, and then they just dominated. I thought the Flyers really sat back and sat back too much, and it, it, it didn't hurt them, but it didn't help them. Um, there was a lot of times where Colorado would cycle. They had a ton of chances. And Hart had a couple couple really good saves in this one. Uh, couple, got helped out by the post. Johansson hit the post short side. Uh, the Flyers had a chance the other way. There was a post on the uh, power play as well. I thought the Flyers did a good job at least of clogging some of the shooting lanes for a little bit. And then the last half of that power play was horrific. Like I said, Avs had a ton of chances as well. T Tippett had a turnover in the slot. Zamula had a bad icing call. It was just all Colorado. And then Travis Konechny made it 1-0. It was, it was awesome. I mean, from... From TK, who's 16 goals this year. I mean, he, he he's not just scoring, but he's scoring in the, the biggest moments of the game. The first goal. The Avs have a ton of pressure. He gets a penalty shot after he draws a breakaway. Scores there. I mean, like, had two primaries against Pittsburgh. Had two goals last game in Arizona. Two goals again tonight. He's got four goals in his last two games. He's my player of the game again because how could he not be? I mean, he's been so good, and I could have given this to, 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 I could have given it to Brink if I wanted to. I could have given it to Hart. I thought Brink was very good in this game. Um, you know, he he had he had two primaries in this one too. He had a really good game, like really good. And and again, Konechny has just been so good for the Flyers all year. McKinnon would tie it. It was a bad play by Risto, bad play by Hart there. I thought he could at least had that, but they end the period tied. And it wasn't horrible, like I mentioned. So at least you can go into it. All right, it's tie game. We played well in some areas. Let's clean it up a bit. And they did. They get two goals. They they really had a lot of. I I, I thought the biggest thing was they sat back a ton. They didn't forecheck enough. They did that in the second period. They did what Colorado does to other teams, where they just forecheck the hell out of you. They generate a ton of chances. They did that. They were much better. They had a lot of quick exits. Avalanche did that all first period. 
Tippett would score 2 1. It was a really nice play by Brink off the wall. It's in some skates. Tippett gets the shot, then scores on the rebound 2 1. Sanheim 3 1. Great play. Fantastic forward check. Really good play by Frost to tip it to him. Good shot by, by Sanheim 3 1. Manson would get one back for the Avs to make it 3 2. It was screen. Um, not, the, not the best play overall for Hart. And, and not that I'm saying it's his fault. I'm just saying it wasn't the best play for him because he got screened. Couldn't see it. 3-2 in the back of the net. Power play for the Flyers. First power play since Forrester's um, 3-2 goal against Pittsburgh on the second. Uh, the one that gave the Flyers the lead late in the third period before Gensel tied and then they won it in the shootout. Horrible. Um, two on in Russians for Colorado. They just, it, it, for a couple games of not having the power play, I didn't expect really anything, honestly, because the power play has not been good. But Colorado does get a power play. It was a hold on Konechny. They've killed – that was a good kill. Um, Coots, I thought, made it some couple good plays on McKinnon. They didn't really give them much. I mean, the, the, the one thing that the Flyers do is they really clunk the middle of the ice. You see it a lot um, with sticks, getting in lanes, obviously blocking shots is a huge thing. 21 straight road penalties killed, and then they're 40 for their last 42 on the penalty kill. I mean, it, it's, it's been really, really good. Third period, Delorier could have made it 5-2 early. McCarr dances through a couple guys. It was mostly avalanche. I'm like, all right, here we go. Like my, I'm sitting there, my heart's in my throat. I'm like, oh, oh God, like this doesn't look good. Penalty shot for Konechny. Atkinson and Faraby had a chance before that. It could have been a goal. I don't know how they didn't score there. Prozvatov just got right in front of it. Penalty shot for TK. He scores. Taken down on the on the uh, the breakaway there. Just goes in. Low, low glove. Above the pad, below the glove. It's like that, that sweet spot for TK. 4-2, 5-2 Farabee. Slam dunk right in front. Two goals in 46 seconds. Everything after that was garbage time. The Flyers win this one 5-2. I mean, just incredible. I mean, like, from the the momentum swings and getting goals and, and the response. I've talked about that all year. The 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 important wins in, in face-offs and... And the penalty kill from scoring goals in, in timely matters, from even your power play giving you boosts when you need it. Late in games, example, the Farzer goal against Pittsburgh, I just talked about, that's one of them. The past couple of games, they've scored goals. They've generated a ton of chances. They've played with swagger. And like Tort said, this team has balls. Like, they just, they come at you in so many waves, and you see it in so many different areas. Um, again, like I said, defensively, getting the puck up the ice, like, they don't have, do they have weaknesses? Yes. 100%. I mean, teams like the Rangers really, you know, exploit that type of stuff. Colorado does it too. But the Flyers, they find ways to win games. They're finding ways to win games. And that is the biggest thing out of this one. I, I said it on Flyers warm-up. I felt a win tonight. It was just a really, really solid game. Carter Hart was very good. And, um, again, like I said, you know, I mean, Tippett getting a goal was big. Konechny, obviously, has been great. Faraby, I thought Frost had a good game, too. He gets a point. He had a couple really nice moves. Had a beautiful move in the second period. I wish he scored that so bad. It would have been a highlight real goal. But, man, I mean, with wins this year against teams like Colorado, against Vegas, right, in, in a thriller, they've had some really good moments. It's really good to see. And, I, I you know, if, if they keep that up and they keep going into and keep playing this way, who knows what can happen? I mean, it, it really is exciting to to see and, and to, to finally feel about this team as a good wave of excitement and to not just be constant losing and, and just feeling that way. That, oh, it just feels so good. So thanks, everybody, again for all the support. As always, make sure to hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video. My name is Chris. Big thanks to everyone uh, as well because we just had 1,000 followers on Twitter over at Mayor Media. Um, we launched the website in September. We launched the socials in June. It's a huge thank you to everyone involved. Seriously, I cannot thank you enough. My name is Chris, and I'll talk to you all again soon.